and their job is nothing else to fly around. And after my research on all these ornithopters, I have a lot of respect for birds, you know? So when I see chicken, when I see the birds, I was in awe, wow. Okay, I don't eat chicken like before anymore. <laughs> okay, so I'm using the spot rubber band, wide enough. And this has a little head in front so that it is safe. Okay, so it won't hit anyone. Uh, this is a soft landing. So this is a small version. Can you imagine how big it can be? It's up to your imagination how you make it, okay? It was destroyed, it was mutilated by a little, little girl. So the wings came off, or the two wings came off. So I look at this girl, I was in shock. This girl also looked at me in shock. I broke it. Uh, I just don't have Yeah. Unless I want to extend it. But whatever extension you put there, it will be heavy. So you have to be careful what you want to achieve. You want it to be to look nice and you add a head on. Otherwise it's just for performance. And some of these are like Formula 1, so they fly very fast. And you have to be careful how you can catch it. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. How to make? I've explained to some of you yesterday, right? Eight hours to make. Why is this so special? It's because this design allows the wings to fly very slowly. So if you are the type that enjoys art a lot, then you will enjoy this flight time very, very much. Okay, to be fair. My smallest baby is about three grams only. Then what? The heavier they fall? So I first wind up first, yeah? put in the power. So stay relaxed and launch it. Imagine you're in Jurong Bird Park and you see the bird flying. We need a bigger room. It is relatively complicated. One set of wind will take me eight hours. This one probably take me ten hours to make. So the same thing, I need to put in the power. And I need to make sure the wings are flapping in opposite directions. Otherwise it will defeat the purpose, it's not a dragon fly. Very nice, but this is a baby dinosaur. This is small. 